July 24th. Um, it is a Tuesday, Tuesday night. We're in Port Croy, and my French navigator will explain we'll to correct me. Correct that pronunciation? Correct that pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do Port Croy and Port Croy. Port Croy. And we're crossing tonight over to Corsica. So it's about 100 and Corsica. Corsica. It's 105 miles to go. And we decided to do this overnight rather than leaving early in the morning. So um, Karen's going to be on first watch. We're going to yep. do three hour watches. I'm doing watches. I'm uh, on from 8 to 11. 11. Yep. And then, and then Tom's on. on from 11 to 2. Yep. And, uh, and then I'm back on from 2 to 5. Yep. And then we'll work out the rest of the day tomorrow. Yep. And we're fortunate enough to have Emmy with us. Uh, they asked me a couple of weeks ago how I felt about doing a crossing, and I said, I'm kind of intrigued. So I'm really excited about yeah. tonight. And I will be pitching in at various times during the watches just to keep people awake and happy. Yeah, yeah. So it's a big, big benefit to have Emmy with us. Uh, just as an extra crew member, but also her French skills have helped a lot. <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to this. So we're crossing over to Corsica, and this Corsica Shore will be yep, our last French land that we're on. We'll be going to Sardinia after that. Well, we might come back to Corsica, but we're leaving the French mainland. So a nice little harbor here. It's about 8 o'clock at night. We got a nice breeze, um, 15 knots of breeze out of the west, southwest. So good conditions for sailing east. And we're looking forward to a safe passage. It's been a couple hours after sunrise on our um, leg from Port Croix to Galleria um, on Corsica. So it's about a little over 100 miles and we got about 25 miles to go. Um, and I'm just coming back on watch. So it's been a good crossing. We've had plenty of wind. Um, we've had the code zero, um, code zero up all night, and uh, it's worked really well. Helped us along. Um, it was a little bit dicey for um, for a period of time when we first launched it. Um, it was close to um, 16, 17 knots, and the max wind for the code zero is about 15. Um, so we were watching that carefully and then um, the wind kind of softened a little bit over uh, early night and then when I came on watch at about uh, 12 30 in the morning uh, the wind built to about 18 knots at times so I was getting ready to douse the code zero but um, it eventually the wind kind of dropped back down to 14 15 knots but been really good we've been making speeds of seven eight nine sometimes ten knots um, and that's been good so the passage has been going really well um, the watch schedule worked pretty well um, other than the fact that my first time to come on watch my uh, my phone died so I didn't wake up in time so Karen took an extra hour thankfully for that and Emmy's been up um, Emmy's been kind of doing in between watches so she'll come on near the end of one person's watch and stay on until a little bit after the, the second person's watch to kind of help the transition. So I um, saw a fair number of ships, cruise ships and um, passenger ships overnight and then at one point uh, we passed right through a group of three sailboats. Um, they were actually a little hard to read on radar. One of them had an AIS so that was good. Um, and uh, and then there was a fourth sailboat after that. So we've got also got a, a sailboat in the distance there that we passed earlier. So, um, yep, so the passage has been going well. Uh, watch schedule's been going well. The boat's been working out well. The only issue I've noticed that uh, we lost a, um, on the alcohol car up there, a shackle that takes the um, end of the line and attaches it to the alcohol car. So at some point, um, that shackle um, broke off and uh, the pin came out so we'll, uh, we'll fix that once we're in port but yeah we've got maybe um, four hours still to go and looking forward to arrival and uh, discovering Corsica so all's good here all right we're coming in to Galeria on the course western part of the Corsica coast 
after an overnight passage. So, small little harbor, and we're hoping to just get a, a place to anchor here uh, that's relatively calm. It's kind of a southwest wind. They would normally have this protected, but the swells kind of wrap around the point of land up there and bring some amount of swell into the harbor, but hopefully we'll find a place to kind of relatively calm to settle into. So, it's all good. We're happy to be here. It went smoother than we thought. And uh, we're looking forward to visiting Corsica.